The U.S. Congress is holding hearings this week into whether the United States should permanently defund UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, in charge of supporting the 1.5 million Palestinians defined as refugees in Gaza. Some major donors, including the United States, have suspended UNRWA's funding in response to recent Israeli revelations that UNRWA staff actively participated in the October 7th Hamas massacre in Israel that killed roughly 1,200 people. Israel has presented evidence of acts committed by at least 12 UNRWA staffers, including kidnapping an Israeli woman and participating in a massacre on a kibbutz. In addition, about 10 percent of UNRWA's Gaza employees have links to Islamist groups, and 50 percent have close relatives who belong to those groups, according to UN Watch, the watchdog group bringing evidence to the Congressional Committee. UN Watch is releasing a new report entitled UNRWA's Terrorgram, where we expose a Telegram chat group of 3,000 UNRWA teachers in Gaza. The purpose of the group is to exchange information for UNRWA teachers, but interspersed among 249,000 messages that we downloaded before they would be deleted, they uh, repeatedly celebrate terrorism on October 7th and thereafter. UNRWA has a staff of 13,000 in Gaza, most of them teachers in UNRWA schools. In response to the Israeli allegations, the agency says it has fired nine people and will continue to investigate. But some Israeli analysts say the problem with UNRWA goes far beyond today's crisis. They say that UNRWA has perpetuated the status of Palestinians as refugees for political reasons rather than resettling them like refugees from other conflicts. UNRWA is uh, started as a temporary agency with good intentions to settle the Arab refugees from the war of 47, 48, 49. Tens of millions of refugees were settled at the time from post-imperial wars. None of them, nor their hundreds of millions of descendants, are called refugees today. They've moved on to build new lives except the Palestinians. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the Israeli evidence against UNRWA is, quote, highly, highly credible, but also said that UNRWA plays a crucial role in distributing needed aid in Gaza. Palestinian officials say defunding UNRWA will be collective punishment and make the difficult humanitarian situation during the war in Gaza even worse. This step simultaneously taken during the war in Gaza sends a wrong message. This, this is, there is a war against